industry has never stopped growing. Over the past 100 years, the number of new cars sold has gone from 500,000 per year to 90 million. It's the world's largest industrial market. But automobiles are now undergoing a revolution. Maynard Holliday served as special assistant to the Under Secretary for Defense under the Obama administration. He is now a senior engineer for the RAND Corporation, one of America's most influential think tanks. There are going to be winners and, and losers depending on the investment uh, and decisions a lot of these car companies make. And so you can look back uh, on a lot of markets that have been disrupted and uh, so you think about digital photography, you know, Kodak owned the film business and actually had patents for, you know, digital sensors, but were very comfortable in the film business. Sony, because they owned a record label, could not see themselves doing something like iTunes. So they, they got disrupted. At this stage, it's hard to know who will come out the winner. An event hit like a cold shower in May of 2016, the first ever fatal accident for the driverless car. May 7, 2016, the Tesla's autopilot doesn't identify the truck that passes in front of it, likely blinded by the sun shining off the white trailer. The investigation would reveal that despite warnings, the driver did not seize back control. Was he really sitting in the driver's seat, his hands on the wheels, as the law demands? There's reason to doubt. Currently in the United States, over 30,000 people are killed in accidents every year, and we accept that because it's human error. Will we accept some lesser number, uh, but have that number be due to machine error? Um, how safe is safe enough? We don't know yet. Whether they invade our roads in the form of options and luxury cars or fleets of ride shares, the autonomous car promises to bring order to our cities at a time when urban population growth should reach 50% between now and 2025. But who will set the rules of this new world? People should be uh, skeptical um, about promises made by companies, and they should look to their government to provide standards. Because today, you know, you look at the airline, you know, air travel industry, there is no airline that is saying that we are safer than another uh, because they all have to meet a safety standard. And so this is the case for future autonomous vehicles. They should all have to meet a standard. Um, and what that standard is, is yet to be determined. Fortunately, I'm gonna go very, very fast here. There will always be video games. I'm gonna try to reach 300. 